one right now and we're trending colder here overnight, although we're dry through tomorrow morning. A wind chill down to 24. So yeah, that easterly breeze certainly has a bite to it. Most of the metro in the 20s for those wind chills. Blue Springs 24 degrees feels like 29 right now in Leewood, 25 in Grandview and 33 in Gladstone. So a cold evening. I was expecting the clouds today. We were forecasting mostly clouds with mid and upper 30s. We officially hit 35 today at the airport. So that's another verified forecast from Fox 4. We are certified most accurate here in Kansas City for the last three years running. So the clouds do kind of insulate us a little bit tonight. Temperatures only dropped about 28 here in the metro, so below freezing, but not a big drop for Friday morning. And that's good news because it's going to allow temperatures to get above freezing pretty quickly for tomorrow as our first storm of two moves in. Here it is right now moving out of New Mexico, heading in our direction with a lot of that moisture too, although there's certainly some dry air mixing in as well. Here's the second storm we're watching. This will be round two of two here over the next week. Week, and that arrives Monday into Tuesday, but it is still 3000 miles away, which is why there's still a lot of questions about the timing, precipitation type and impacts and amounts coming with that system for early next week. So we'll dive into tomorrow's forecast. First, we start off cloudy Friday morning, but dry. So your morning commute should not have any issues. I really think the precipitation doesn't even move into the metro until late in the morning after 10 AM. So as we approach lunchtime, yeah, we'll probably have some snow showers out there flurry. I think the heavier amounts will probably be off towards the west for midday at least, and then we continue with scattered off and on snow showers through the afternoon and into the evening. So Friday evening commute a little lower visibility, some wet roadways, but generally temperatures still above freezing, and I don't think we see any major accumulations until after sunset as this snow continues through about midnight. Then it tapers off and we're mostly dry for the weekend. So again, temps above freezing for the falling snow tomorrow, which is why it's going to be hard to accumulate about 34 to 30 six degrees just a few hundred feet up is where it's below freezing. So that's why it's going to be mostly snow tomorrow. Just having trouble accumulating here at the surface. So right now I'm forecasting anywhere between nothing to up to one inch. Probably most of the metro may see a dusting on some grassy and elevated surfaces. Most of that's going to be later Friday night. The potential for maybe an inch out towards Topeka and the turnpike as we head into Friday night, but the bulk of us not seeing impactful snow. The more impactful storm arrives as our next big change Monday into two Tuesday. Right now it looks like to start as rain for most of us. Eventually some point on Monday it transitions to mostly snow and that lingers into Tuesday. The question is when that transition happens and how cold the temperatures are. Right now we know there's limited cold air to work with for this Monday to Tuesday storm. The questions are the track. Is it still going to be along Interstate 44 or south of there? And how quickly do we transition to snow? But I do think at least some accumulations and impacts possible for early next week, along with gusty winds that could lower visibility with falling snow as well. But tomorrow is not going to be a big deal. Yes, there will be flakes, maybe a dusting on some elevated or grassy surfaces, uh, but the roadways should be just fine. You know, be cautious out there. Wet roadways, yeah. but not mm -hmm. a big impact.